A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, new brother in town. A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, new brother in town. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy TD. In today's video, it's going to be on my boy, Arthur Juan Brown, a.k.a. A.J. Brown. So guys, let me tell you some things about A.J. Brown and why he can be a league winner this year in fantasy. And also, if you're a betting man, Go make some props and future bets on him. I believe so. I believe that he's going to be a boom this year. I'm talking about catches, yards. He could even lead the NFL as a receiver this year. Yes, I said it. He can even lead the NFL in receiving this year. So, look at this picture over here in the right. Where... You see DK Metcalf and you see AJ Brown. These guys are beast. Both of them 200 and some pounds over 220. AJ is a little shorter than DK, but who what corners can guard these guys? I ain't no I don't see any corners in the NFL as big as these guys. You can't press these guys. So look, let me tell you some stats about AJ Brown and why you should draft him. I would say his ADP is looking around 4 or 5. I say take him around his ADP, 4 for 5th. You've taken maybe a top 5 receiver in the 4 for 5th round. So I would take him easily. Um, so I'm going to give you some of his credentials. So A.J. Brown is 6 foot, 229. Runners are 4 4 9. 37 inch vertical and a 10 foot broad jump and he also did the bench 19 times at the combine guys that's better than running back numbers this guy could actually play running back probably if he wanted to but he's probably a better receiver and also guys I didn't even know this myself did y'all know that AJ Brown was a two sport all American in high school yes he is the second player other than Kyler Murray Kyler Murray to be an All-American in football and baseball. He was drafted by the San Diego Padres, but instead of going to play professional baseball, he chose to go to Ole Miss over Mississippi State. So, last year as a rookie in the NFL, A.J. Brown played in 16 games, but he only started 11. In those 11 games, he had 52 catches for 1,000 yards with a 20 yards average per catch. And the longest touchdown he had for a catcher was 91 yards with 8 TDs. Also, he had 3 attempts rushing for 60 yards, 60 yards and a touchdown. And a long, that touchdown was a long of 49 yards. So this guy's big play all over the field. Now, a lot of people don't want to draft him because they said that he had a little value. He only had 52 catches. But, so you're trying to tell me they're going to give him less targets this year because he had 52 catches last year? No, he's actually, they're going to look at those numbers and say, we got to feed this guy the ball. So all the games that he had 100 yards, they won. This So they're going to be force feeding this guy, the guy the ball this year. So it's going to be Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, play action, A.J. Brown. Now, Jonah Smith is an evolving tight end, and I do think he's going to eat some volume up, but it's not it's not, it's not going to be anything to hurt AJ's numbers. You know, when you have an athlete that can play two sports like baseball and football, usually guys, these guys, the sports that they end up playing, they're usually great in it. And reason why is eye-hand coordination. Baseball is, is nothing but eye-hand coordination. So when you can read a ball coming off a bat – or you can see the pitcher throwing the ball and read it and be able to hit that ball in the gap, that takes eye-hand coordination. And so K 
catching a, a football is easy when it comes to baseball because you're used to seeing it a smaller ball and adjusting to it. So a football is like, okay, that's that's even bigger. I can, I can make that adjustment. So this guy catching ability is control in the air because baseball teaches you how to control yourself making plays. This is showing upside for this guy to have a boom season. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised no matter where he finished. If he finished number one, I would be surprised. I mean, he had DK Metcalf on the same team, but he was better than DK. Now, DK is a hell of a receiver, but A.J. Brown is better. You can tell by, go back and look at Ole Miss and look at the targets. A.J. Brown was the guy that they featured, but DK was just bigger, so they used him, you know, for the jump balls and stuff like that. But A.J. can can jump just like he can, like DK can. He's just not as tall. This guy is actually, if you he catch the ball, can you tackle a running back at the second level? Like, he's 229. How do you – I mean, good gracious, you got corners up there, 195 pounds, 200, and they got to tackle a 229, 230 guy. Yeah, that's, that's going to be some hard stuff to do. And I'm going to show you some of his big plays. Out of 16 games he played, he had – Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. I mean, eight catches over 30 yards. These is like Tyreek Hill type numbers. Now, he had more bigger plays than Tyreek because Tyreek was out last year. He missed a couple games. But Tyreek usually averaged around 10 to 12 big plays a year. And this guy had eight. And he only started 11 games. You have to draft this guy at his ADP, fourth or fifth round. Let him fall. I don't, you know, guys are not going to be on him. If you already drafted him, if you want to make a trade for him, make a trade for him. If you already drafted, your league already drafted, make a trade for him. And um, if you haven't drafted, then be looking for this guy. Or if you're a betting man, like I said, go on one of these Vegas websites and make a futuristic uh, bet. I, I think you have a lot of money to make on the table. So, guys, I'm not going to keep this video super long. I just wanted to tell you how great this A.J. Brown character is going to be and how durable he's been. He hasn't been hurt in his career. So, if you want your top three receiver, this is a guy that you can get in the fourth or fifth round. So, if you enjoyed the video, go down to the bottom. And hit the thumbs up button. And guys, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to give you more videos and more stories like this. Thank you. Have a blessed day.